Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey. Today we're gonna be finishing off this sunken pathway area that I met made leading to my back beach on my forever island of Honeyland. I did work on this a little bit during stream and that would be the outfit change. Shout out to Brain Seer, our current fashion king, for redeeming these wonderful outfit choices. Let's get started. I did get started on this a little bit off camera and I just wanted to make my way back here and just fill in the area with a bunch of stuff. Honestly, I just wanted it to look very natural and peaceful. Man, that outfit really is distracting, isn't it? But I mean, it's okay. So we're gonna put some vines on the cliffs. I just want everything to look very naturey and to be like kind of pretty working my way back. And um, yeah, so we're just gonna put down some natural decor, some pathing, of course, so you guys know where to go, not like there's anywhere else to go, but you know, hey. And then I wanted to put some trees in the back. I also wanted to put a windmill right over on the other side, right over there. And then at some point I realized I had like 20,000 gyroids, cause I really do like them a lot but I haven't managed to put any out. So we're gonna put our good friend over here. I think he actually looks really cute in this area right here. And now on to the very last part of this, uh, just to get our little windmill down, because for some reason that was such a priority to me for this build was fitting a windmill in it. I don't know why, I really like the windmills um, on this island, I'm just really feeling them. I'm using the green ones and the damaged ones and they seem to be resonating the most with me on this particular island. Um, the rest of it is just going to be filler and some custom codes. I wanted a plain party light arch because I just love those, they're a lot of fun. And then for size reasons I went ahead and changed out the trees so that you can kind of see behind everything over there. After that I came to the top right of the sunken area and I wanted to fill out this area up on top of the cliff as well. So we're going to do the whole right side. Um, there is a land bridge that leads all the way back to my tree house because as much as the tree house is kind of a, an isolated place, I wanted to make sure that you could get over there. I'm so sorry if that made you dizzy, but yeah, that's a lot. It was a lot of just planting nature right over there. And then um, I wanted to start on the back. And of course, we're using silos and windmills back here just because that's what I seem to be using throughout this island. I didn't really intend for this island to have a theme. It's basically a everything that I love in Animal Crossing is the theme back here. But it seems like it kind of leaned towards spring core. That just seemed to be what I was really enjoying at the time. I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason to it. It just happened to be the items that I really like right now. And that's pretty much it. That was the only reason. There was like nothing else really about that. And then um, I went, I tried for the mush parasol, but it wasn't tall enough. I just wanted something really tall because it's the very back. So I wanted a lot of height back there. And we're going to work towards the side that is right next to the lower path right there and um, put that together right now. And I was just feeling the bunnies, the ducks, and then I decided to throw in one of those little succulents because we never really use those or I never really use those very often and I happen to have one. So I was like, well, why not use it? And of course, another gyroid. And I love ducks in these areas right here. The only way to get the duck to face the way I wanted it to was to re-terraform that little piece right over there. And then I'm going to come over to this side right here and just sort of decorate this out. I am a member, a proud member of the No Square Left Behind Club, which means that no square gets left undecorated on my island. I swore I wasn't going to fill this island up or make it hard to navigate and here I went and I made it hard to navigate. It's totally fine. I just kind of accept that about myself at this point. It's just a personality flaw, if you will, or a design flaw, if you will. Um, I just really love putting a lot of items. I just like the way it looks. I am trying to make sure that I'm not squeezing through paths. So I'm trying to make sure that the items that I'm putting in the middle paths are like flowers and things that won't get you stuck. 
So it's not necessarily stunt core, it's just a lot of love, a lot of stuff core. You know, stuck not st stuck core, but a lot of stuff core. Yeah, that's that's really what I meant to say. And um, I think that's fine. I'm okay with it. That area down towards the right is the Chaos Crew little hideaway that I made right below the tree house. That was a celebration for, I don't remember anymore. It was for doing something. Oh, finding Ellie again. In honor of finding Ellie again. Anyway, this area right here is just going to keep in with a lot of stuff. I ended up having an outfit change. Um, there was another outfit redemption in the middle of building this out right here. So we went ahead and changed our clothes and we are looking a lot cuter now. So this outfit was chosen by, I believe it was Emily actually, that chose this outfit. So shout out to Emily for picking a really cute outfit for me to be able to end the video on because I think it came out real cute. If you wanna see these built in real time, I do stream on YouTube and um, you can definitely come and keep me company while I'm decorating and see what I'm up to and watch my chaotic process. It's probably much more difficult than watching the video, but I, we do have a lot of fun over there and everyone seems to have a really great time and the community there is just the sweetest community I've ever met ever. And this is it. This is the completed area. I am really happy with it. I really actually love it so, so much. It just um, really does fit my island and it seems to be perfect for this area right here. I do keep a dream address saved. So I save the dream address as I go along. The area to the left is actually part of a house build. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that one afterwards. Now this area right here is complete and I really am enjoying it. So we're just gonna go to the middle and take a little bit of a photo for the thumbnail and hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I know you guys can be absolutely anywhere on the entire internet and I appreciate that you decided to spend your time here with me. I hope you all are having an amazing day and is still enjoying this game as much as I am. I love you all and I will see you in the next one. Bye!